guys, today we're going to give you the top 10 alto sax players in jazz. Don't forget to like and share this video along with subscribing to our channel below. You can also hit the notification bell which will notify you whenever we have a new video. This channel was brought to you by our generous Patreons who give as little as a dollar a month and help support the channel grow. There's a link in the description box below. So today we're going to give you my top 10 alto sax players in jazz. And before we move on, I just want to say this list is not subjective at all and anyone who disagrees with me is flat out wrong. Let's get to it. Coming in at number 10 in the top 10 jazz alto sax players, Julian Cannonball Adderley. Cannonball had a unique punctuated staccato articulation, a funky style, and is best known for his playing with Miles Davis on the album Kind of Blue. He was very successful with his own groups along with his brother, Nat Adderley. Coming in at number nine for top alto sax players in jazz, we have Jackie McLean. A native of New York City, McLean had a bluesy, piercing, distinctive tone. He was mentored by pianist Bud Powell and several of the other bebop pioneers, and he became a member of Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers. Coming in at number eight in top alto sax players in jazz, we have Gigi Grice. Grounded in classical training, Gigi was an all-around great musician, a brilliant composer, arranger, clarinetist, flutist, and educator. He had a very clear, sweet tone on the alto and always prioritized the melody. Coming in at number seven for top alto sax players in jazz, we have Benny Carter. While Coleman Hawkins might be considered the father of the tenor saxophone, I think Benny Carter might be the father of the alto. He started out by writing arrangements for Fletcher Henderson's orchestra in the 1920s, and his career as a performer continued throughout the 1990s. He was an equally great trumpet soloist, and Dizzy Gillespie adored him. Coming in at number six for top alto sax players in jazz, we have Jimmy Dorsey. Jimmy Dorsey was equally a virtuoso on the alto saxophone and the clarinet, rivaling any of the other swing big band clarinetists such as Goodman and Shaw. His distinctive vibrato on the alto has never been replicated. He was known for his novelty finger buster pieces, but was also a brilliant improviser. Coming in at number five for top alto sax players in jazz, we have Earl Bostic. He might be the most unique player on this list. He was a true virtuoso of the saxophone, steeped in the tradition of the blues, and he could make audiences jump up and down all night. He was a true entertainer and had a better altissimo than anyone on the instrument. Coming in at number four for top alto sax players in jazz, we have Lou Donaldson. He had a tone on the alto as good as anyone. A brief member of Art Blakey's Jazz Messengers, he mainly ended up leading his own organ group where he had several hit bluesy tunes. Lou loves Charlie Parker and often gets down and dirty on a slow blues. Coming in at number three for top jazz alto saxophonists, we have Sonny Stitt. He was a terror at any jam session. Equally at home on the alto or tenor, Stitt could play any tempo in any key with ease. He played with Dizzy Gillespie and briefly with Miles Davis's group, but mainly toured on his own, joining local rhythm sections. Coming in at number two for top alto saxophonists in jazz, we have Johnny Hodges. A longtime star soloist with the Duke Ellington Orchestra, Hodges set the standard for swing era alto sax playing. His style is a blend between Louis Armstrong and Sidney Bechet, and he could bend a note better than anyone. Coming in at number one for top jazz alto saxophonists, we have Charlie Parker. This one was a no-brainer for me. Parker influenced just about every jazz musician who came after him. Parker played the alto with the beauty and precision of a violin. Steeped in the tradition of swing and Lester Young, he invented the bebop style, pushing the boundary of melody, harmony, and rhythm. 
So that's the list guys, I hope you enjoyed it. So what do you think, did I get it wrong? Did I leave anyone off the list who you think was more deserving? I really wanna hear from you all, so let me know in the comments. I had a lot of fun making this list, so get ready for more lists to come. Hit the notification bell, like and subscribe. And again, we really wanna thank all of our generous Patreons who helped make this channel possible. You can check out the link below. We'll see you next time.